seems Look like fresh. old time. Look fresh. Take one. There you go. What's up, gang? When are we going to find out about season six? Uh, it, as soon as we do. Uh, I, I think everybody understands that ultimately that's the network's decision. Mm -hmm. If it was our decision, we'd be telling everybody, let's go. Yeah. Uh, we could not be happy. That's the hardest part about being an actor or in this business is just your, the fate of, you know. Humanity is uh, in your hands. life, of life. Just know. It's, 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 uh, it's a wait and see game. So hopefully we'll hear something soon. Yes. Yes. What can we expect for me coming up? That's a very general question. <laughs> I mean, w w without giving spoilers, I mean, because May's kind of, she's been off to the side, kind of, you know, protecting and everything. She hasn't really stepped up. There's been no dancing, so. No dancing. No dancing. No, no. I know, this season especially, I mean, aside from the moment when she was in the future raising Robin and trying to maintain um, uh, the, the time loop, you know, where we can eventually, hopefully, get back to where we need to be. Um, May has been more the character that just been observing and trying to keep things on an even keel. But well, in, in some ways, you've had to step into the role of, of running. Our, our, our captain is not at his best. No. And his judgment may be... And I, have to, yeah, and I have to babysit him quite a bit. We're talking about this. But that's because she loves him. Right? I think so. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Do you think May would ever try to check in on Robin? Like, if things weren't always crazy? Like in the present, now that she knows? Oh, yes, yes. I think there's been a really strong bond that's developed between May and Robin. And uh, for her, you know, it is sort of like the child that she couldn't have with Andrew. Um, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a moment for her to have some redemption in her situation with Bob Ryan as well. Well, I know like Colson has definitely been grooming Daisy to take take over, you know, um, because she's the next generation and she has, uh, I think, the leadership qualities. Um, what do you think? Uh, out of that group, you know what I like about the show is is that that it's a show about family, and I, and I think they are much better together as a whole than in any singular individual being able to do one simple thing. Uh, even Colson, who is so distinctly our leader, still does that best by assigning everyone a role. For them to follow. The challenge is they may not always do that, so that's when it starts to become drama, yeah. comedy, action. So Hydra is never going away, it seems like. Uh, well, never's a long time, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, well, what do we say? Mar in Marvel, no one ever dies, really. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, when your motto is, you know, Cut off one hand and two more will arise. Um, I think what's been interesting about the show is is the different ways that we've been able to use it. And I think this latest twist, which has not yet been revealed, uh, I think people will find it surprising. Any chance that Hive could reform his atoms out in space and come back so we can see Brett Dalton again? Uh, Let's just see what happens. <laughs> but it was kind of cool for a hundredth episode to bring back so many. Like we brought mm -hmm. back Lash, and we, you know, we just brought back all these amazing uh, nemesis. Uh, I, I, I love how our writers are able to be so creative and, and you know, poetic in that way to bring what didn't seem as relevant, um, especially like Deathlock. You know, to bring back um, that character is remarkable. Full circle.